back in April of this year, uh, I actually was rushed to the emergency uh, room in Hickory. The day that that I received the call that Randy was going to the emergency room was, um, you know, obviously one of the hardest days of my life. Uh, my kids were there. We found out pretty quickly that it was serious. I had uh, what's known as end-stage renal failure. That's kidney disease. Dialysis was going to be something that I was going to be living with for a long time uh, until I um, actually would receive, a, hopefully, a, a kidney from a donor someday. We hoped that a kidney might become available in, in seven, maybe ten years. I went ahead with the testing with him and found out in November that that I was a match. The Karen was a, uh, a perfect match and um, it was just um, unbelievable to, to both of us and extremely exciting. To be honest, I struggled with that decision for a little while. I really didn't know if it was right for me to put both uh, parents of our children kind of in danger and, and at risk. You know, do we have the support that we need and, and again, church um, and co-workers and people stepped right up and said, you know, God's got this, don't look back, just do this. You know, He will take care of every need, we will do what you need, we are there for you, we are praying for you, it's it's all good, you're gonna be okay. We both went to uh, Wake Forest Baptist Hospital and began uh, the process of um, our surgeries together. People at church began to ask what more they could do and were we okay financially? And that, that for me was the, the, the biggest and the hardest hurdle of all, we just, you know, the son in college and the day-to-day -day bills and uh, family had been through three prior surgeries that year and uh, we had been through a job loss so uh, to think about the finances was staggering and, and I um, that was kind of my breaking point and um, friends at church will tell you I, I kind of just broke down one day you know at the altar and they came to me and laid their hands on me and said this is don't forget that he's got this. This will be okay. It, it'll work out. The church began raising money and donations poured in. Prayers just were stronger than ever. Taking a lot of drugs, a lot of immunosuppressant drugs, uh, to prevent my body from rejecting the kidney. But uh, things are going very well and I'm uh, very optimistic. We had a second chance at life. You know, my boys, I knew my boys would have their dad for at least another 10 or 15 more years. I will forever believe that God had a hand in this and that God, God did have it. He took control and he took care of us and uh, I'll be forever grateful. And I think that if you don't believe that, that the prayer plays a role in your lives, I'm, I'm hoping, I guess, that this might help you believe.